Big Three for Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's start out with the number of 16. It's the number of outings to begin the season for Fernando Rodney of the Padres, in which he has not allowed a run. Wow, I was right. Tremendous work for Rodney at this point. That streak of 16 to begin the year, second longest since 1991 in all of baseball. Wade Davis last year had a run of 22 straight scoreless outings to begin the year for the Royals. Uh, getting back to Rodney, 9.6 strikeouts per nine innings is great. 57% ground ball ratio is really good. 3.9 walks per nine innings, unfortunately, it's still there for Rodney. That's the thing with him. You never know when this can go bad quickly. He beats himself too much with the free pass, but he can still miss bats, still generating grounders. And look at Fernando Rodney, one of the best relievers in baseball in the early going. Next number is 10. That's the number of runs allowed the last 12 innings from Masahiro Tanaka of the Yankees over his last two starts. Now you look at his ERA, it's 3.51 for the course of the season, still a very good number. Uh, you notice that his strikeout rate is about 8 per 9 innings, really good number. Striking out about 1.3 batters, excuse me, walking about 1.3 batters per 9 innings, an excellent number. The numbers are all pretty much right in line with what Tanaka did last year, but I'm still concerned. I don't know how you couldn't be. The elbow is still an issue. The UCL is not at 100%. We know that. Uh, through two years, he hasn't been able to pitch 155 innings in either effort. We'll see if he gets there this season. Overall, a very good start to the season, though the hiccups the last couple of outings just remind me that you should be cautious if you own Tanaka. You understand that that arm could go at any moment. It might be time to investigate moving him. Though, again, he's going to pitch very well when he's on the hill. Then the final number of the day is 1.07, which happens to be the whip this season of Kevin Gaussman of the Orioles. He allowed four runs on Sunday. Not a great effort overall for him there. But when you talk five outings from him and you talk a 1.07 whip, you talk a 3.00 ERA, what are you complaining about? 24 strikeouts is a little low in his 30 innings pitch. You'd like to see that mark a little bit higher. But he's only walked seven guys with a better than 3 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio that you obviously take. Gaussman finally in the starting rotation for the Orioles. Gaussman finally healthy for the Royals. Let's see what he can do. If he can stay healthy, I'm really excited about his arm. That is a question, just like with Tanaka. Can Gaussman stay healthy long enough for it really to matter in a Roto League? It's going to give it a chance in 2016.